What's up, Raven Slack? I'm Cassie Calvert. We are back on Facebook Live today. I am joined by Gus Edwards, who's going to be taking your questions. So go ahead and start commenting them below. All right, Gus, Monday night football, the Kansas City Chiefs are coming to town. It's going to be a little weird because there's not going to be fans in the stand. Unfortunately, we are really looking forward to the home field advantage on that one. But how excited, how fired up are you to be on primetime Monday night? Whole world is watching. I'm thrilled, man. I can't wait. Um, whole country is going to watch, be watching. Family's going to be watching. And then there's a big time opponent, um, two big time opponents going at it. And um, I just can't wait, man. So one of the things that I loved this offseason was you debuted your new music career. You got a little <laughs> there, Gusto. And so tell me a little bit about that. How did that come about? And why is that something that you were so like passionate about doing with your free time? So I was stuck in the house a lot. And um, um, I lived by myself. Um, one of my uh, one of my friends from back home came and visited me, and he does music. And we started messing around with a couple of beats, and he, he thought that it sounded good, so we recorded it. So a lot of your teammates have been hyping you up with that. They've been playing your music. Yeah. Is that like, so you've gotten good feedback then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They said it, 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 it's pretty good. I mean, um, a lot of the guys didn't expect it out of me. I mean, I'd be chilling for <laughs> real. So when they seen the videos and um, and, and listened to the lyrics and it, it was like caught off guard. So, yeah. Right, I feel like people sometimes maybe think that you're, well, you, you're in a running back room with Mark Ingram. So in comparison, anyone's going to seem a little quieter than him. <laughs> to see you really like open up in that way. Has that been a good outlet for you? Yeah, it has, it has, man. And like you said, the feedback from my teammates has made it that much better. Um, makes me want to continue doing it. Um, maybe it's something I'll get back to during the off season. I love that. All right. Well, definitely stay tuned for that, everybody. You can check him out, Gusto, on all your streaming platforms. So we talked a little bit about Mark Ingram and kind of when you came into the Ravens, you were someone that wasn't on everyone's radar and still has kind of flown under the radar despite having like awesome production. How, what is it like for you to kind of be a guy that's still sort of slept on? Um, I don't, I try not to think about it. I just try to do what I can to help my team win games, um, make plays when the opportunity presents itself and um, miss the, make the best out of my opportunities on the field. I love that your running back room all is, you're very close and you guys all cheer each other on. And you guys have all talked about wanting to surpass the records that you guys set last year. Do you feel like this group is capable of taking that even the step further this year? Yes, I, I do. I do. Um, we have a great room, um, a room that I believe got better this year. Um, we, we, I feel like we took a step forward in the second, the second half of last game towards that goal, and um, we just got to keep on pressing on. So we have our first fan question here from Jonathan. He said, "What's it like playing alongside Lamar? And is there someone you would compare your style to previous running backs? Maybe you watched growing up." Playing with Lamar is great, man. Um, we just, we just as big as fans as as you guys out there. And I mean, he's spectacular, and, and um. It's it's it, it's just very it's just a great feeling to have a player like that on your side. I mean, I can only imagine what the de opposing defenses have to go through the stress level of preparing <laughs> for him. You know what I mean, and what was the second part of his question? Second part of the question, <laughs> you're you're good. Was is there any running back that you maybe watched growing up or previously played that you kind of model your game after, or think that you kind of model your game after? Um. I have a lot of running backs that I really like. I like AP. I like um, Sean Alexander was one of my favorites growing up when I was real young. And um, not not so more of like me, like copying my game after them, but I just feel like, like those are all my favorite players and um, physical mentality. Just guys that you yeah. like to watch? Yeah. Yeah, you got to have the guys that you like to watch. Everyone's a fan still of the game. All right, from Patrick... He wants to know what's your favorite game day meal. So, in the morning, I, I usually like it's it's kind of like a late breakfast, but I keep it with eggs, um, for some protein. I, I have a banana, uh, probably a, a side of toast or something like that, and then just try to stay hydrated. Drink some Pedialyte. What's it like when you play a night game versus like a 1 p.m. game? What what do you do kind of throughout the day when you're just kind of waiting? It just feels like forever sometimes. Yeah. Waiting for the night game, it feels like forever. Um, 
I try to just go. It's a lot of opportunity. Just go over your plays a little bit, and then sometimes it, it just things like when you when you feel like yourself getting too excited, you have to take your mind off. I'll probably watch a movie in between there, or something, some inspirational. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you it just, can't peak. Yeah, it it's it's hard trying to stay calm before peaking too early. You don't want to peak too early, so. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. From Christopher, he wants to know if you did anything different this offseason. He says, you seem more light on your feet and quicker lateral movements, but he says, you're still trucking people, though. <laughs> yeah, I've been working on my, my footwork a lot. I actually stayed here in Baltimore in, in this offseason and got with uh, the foot doctor, PJ. Shout out to him. Um, and we, me, me and um, Justice actually got with him, and we've just been working on our footwork. So you, we did see this a lot in the offseason. You worked with Justice a lot. What was that like, kind of the two of you getting to work throughout the offseason, especially in a weird year like this where you're not able to travel as much? Um, I, I, I thought it would be a great idea to work with somebody like Justice who's known for having quick feet and getting in and out of his cuts. And I mean, I could, like, try to, like, mimic mimic that and learn some things from him. And um, it was fun. It was, he was competitive. Um, we made sure that we were... We were competing each drill. We made sure that um, being accountable for God, like, yo, make sure you come today. You know what I mean? We was on top of that, making sure that we're there. And then um, it was just fun. I mean, it's definitely something that I think we got to get back to next year as well. I love that because I feel like it can kind of be a grind in the off season when you're putting in work by yourself. So having yeah. company, I'm sure, is nice. Yeah. From Claude, he wants to know, who is the funniest guy in the locker room? Um... Put you on the spot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we got some funny dudes, man. Right now, Fluke, Fluke makes me laugh. Anything Fluke really? does makes DJ me laugh. DJ Fluker. Yeah, DJ Fluker, is a, he's, he's real funny. Um, His choice of music most of the time makes me, it's like really funny for, to, to me. I mean, it, it'd be all over the place. What kind of music does he like? He'll hit you with some old school, some soul, <laughs> and then just coming from a guy like him, you don't think that's what... He'll listen to. Right, I love it. That was an unexpected answer. I like that one. I don't think yeah. we've had that one before. <laughs> From Heather, she wants to know, I don't know what Halloween will look like this year, but she wants to know if you have a Halloween costume planned for this year. No, I haven't dressed up for Halloween in years. I can't remember the last really? time. I, yeah, I can't remember the last time. I probably might have to this year. Now. Thanks for reminding me. Um, <laughs> probably take you a couple of pictures or something. Right, you have a month to prepare now, so we got yeah. a little head start. Why have you not dressed up in the past? Just busy football. I mean, I just, it just like, like dress up and then what? Like, I haven't been invited to no Halloween parties. <laughs> yeah, so it's. <laughs> All right, that's fair. It's not like you're yeah. going treating anymore. Dress up with no plans. So. <laughs> yeah, I give you that. It's a weird holiday as an adult, especially yeah. if you have kids. All right, this is a kind of an interesting one from Ryan. Sort of random, but we'll see what you think. Who would win in an arm wrestling match, you or TJ Watt? Me. I'm saying me every time. <laughs> every time. You're never going to pick against yourself, right? It's a lot. It's, it's it's morning strength, too. It's technique, good arm technique on, on arm wrestling. I, I think I got it figured out. All right. Let's take one, a couple more fan questions here from Jim. Oh, another random one, but a good one. Does pineapple belong on pizza? No. I hate it. My college roommate used to always do that, and I hated it so much. It just doesn't go. I see. I'm I'm pineapple on pizza. All um, I like the like ham and pineapple. You know, Hawaii. I think it ruins it. I think it ruins it for <laughs> real. <laughs> From Greg, who is the strongest running back in the weight room? In the weight room. <laughs> um. Man, I don't know. We're all strong. How about that? We're all strong. <laughs> I like it. I'll take it. That's good. From Woody, he wants to know, what is your biggest goal to start the season? I guess we're two weeks in, but. Super Bowl. That's the team. That's the goal. The team goal is to win the Super Bowl. I love that. I feel like everybody we've asked their goals for the season. It's all about the team. That's yeah. something special here. You talked about there's a lot of funny guys in the locker room, and I think this week it was definitely on display with all the T-shirts for Harv's birthday and everything, but the chemistry of this team just seems to be something really special, that everyone just really gels together. Have you ever experienced, like, a locker room like this one? It's great. It's been it's been like that since my rookie year, um, just like the family atmosphere here. And it's like everybody we bring in just 
they, they just join in perfectly. And then um, I think it's just a welcoming environment. Yeah, I love that. I think it, and it's fun for fans to see too. Like they love to see their favorite players, you know, yeah. being together and gelling and having fun. It's definitely special. From Alpac, do you have a nickname for the running back group? <laughs> It's crazy because yesterday we was um we was like making Ninja Turtle jokes about each other and then I was <laughs> and then I told the guys I think one uh, somebody called one of the other running backs a Ninja Turtle and he was like you kind of look like one too and then we was like, we all look like one so I don't know maybe the Ninja Turtle was something like that. All right, maybe there's something there. <laughs> we can work with that. Do you, are you still Team Gus Bus though? Yeah, yeah, always. That one will always stick around. All right, let's take one more fan question before you let you go. Trey asks, is there a team that you look forward to playing the most? This is a big one this week. This is a big one. You know it's going to be a competitive game. Um, AFC, two of the best in the, in the conference. It's just, it's, I mean, in the division, it's just something to look forward to. And then Monday night, the stage is set. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. Any message you want to share with the fans before we sign off? Oh, we miss you guys being out there with us. Um, I know y'all cheering on from home. And we, we still appreciate the support. I love it. Thanks for joining us, Gus, and good luck on Monday. Thank you.